Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft Tech Tech It Back with me, Blue Star. How's everyone doing? Uh as I remember if I le correctly left off, I was in the process of getting the quarry ready, and I realized I was one gold ingot short of being able to complete that for you guys. I did go downstairs, find it, you know, find a little bit more extra gold too, so I brought it up with me. But as you can see here, I found all the pieces. Let me get them all out right here. I didn't make that last golden gear off screen. So let's see if we can get this done here. Mr. Corey, if I remember right, it's diamond, diamond, gold, gold, iron, iron. I'll see the redstone or pick up top. Backwards. And there's our quarry. Voila. Now, with that being said, I went ahead and made an extra leadstone energy cell here and fully charged it up. So, take that. Thank you very much. I didn't. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, yeah. Don't do what I just did, guys. I broke it with a pickaxe. Therefore, yeah, um, I killed it. <sighs> okay. Your output to the right. You're inputting from the back. Cannot believe I just did that. There here goes a transfer of power. You are charging up. You're transferring power over. Yeah, oops. I meant to use. <laughs> I create my crescent hammer to pick it up. <clears throat> so, yep, yeah, while we're waiting for it to charge, you'll probably notice my inventory. And I now have all these little blue tools here. Real quick, just to show you, I'm just going to type in any of the tools. For instance, like a sword. I don't have one yet. Um, it's made from these jewels right here. The ruby, the peridot, and the sphere. Sapphire, sorry, that's a fear of sapphire. Um, as you see, the ruby has an attack power of 8, sapphire has a 7, and the peridot has a 7.25. 7 um, just simply, it's they're very good um, tool use jewels. Um, that's the only real thing I know they're good for in the game, is to make tools out of them. Um, I need a piece of wood. So I need a stick. Second here, stick. And there's my sword. That way I now have a sword. Um, simply by having, um, let's see if I can explain this right. Um, if For my reading and understanding and research is they are as strong as a diamond you know, as far as durability of how long they last. So my ruby sword will last just as good as building a diamond, but it's obviously cheaper because I have a bunch of rubies here, but I don't have a lot of diamonds. Um, the only difference is, is like if I build a pickaxe out of them, is it will not mine obsidian. You still have to actually use the diamond pickaxe itself or a diamond pick, pickaxe grade to mine obsidian. But as far as my other ores go, um, it's better than, you know, a wooden one that I've built, a cobblestone, and then later my irons, um, even though I'm not hurting on the iron. Um, you know, it's better than all them. Um, it's equivalent, like I said, it's equivalent to a diamond strength level as far as durability, but it can't mine at the level of a diamond. So as you can see, the diamond sword here only has a type power of 7. So my ruby, B, 
beats the diamond. It's actually a sapphire, sapphire is equivalent to it. Um, I can put it in the same thing. We can look at the picks. Pick. Here's a diamond. As you can see, it's attack power of five. Ruby's a six. Sapphire is a five again, just like the diamond, and the paradox just above it. You're going to see that on every last single thing. Um, what was the other one? Axe. Seven, six, sixty-five, and six. So, same basic thing, just gives you another way to make it. And really, it's the only thing you can do with them, so why not? Before we take off, it's almost full power. There's a few other things I want to build. First, I want to build a diamond transport pipe. This is Billcraft. I also want to build a little bit of stone transport pipe. And last thing I want to build is another trash can. Because the reason why is when I get the quarry up and running, Eventually, we're going to be producing either a lot of dirt, sand, um, cobblestone that I don't want to have to lug back here um, or to wherever we want to future expand. As you can see right here, I've already got, um, you know, a lot of that resources starting to stack up. So let's see, we got our quarry, we got our pipes, we got our trash can, we have dirt if we have to build a platform for some reason. A little bit of extra coal. Now, okay, you're full power again. You're full power. Let's shut you down. Stop from just burning what charcoal we have. This time I need to use my crescent hammer. Shift, right click. And now we have a fully loaded energy cell to take with us. Okay. My idea is I'm going to probably go on the back side of the mountain there where I think I see a river forming. That's typically normally where I like to drop my first quarries in the river. You know, I could do here and I may end up coming back here and dropping one. But right now I want to do a little bit of sightseeing and exploring. Move to you too. Got my sword ready. In case I need it, I am not sure if I can build armor out of the different gems. You know, because you can build diamond armor. I'm not sure if I can build armor. Huh. There's my river. I thought I was going to find a river. Looks like a little bit more lava's out that way. Ouch. Huh. Little cannon through the canyon through the mountains, and that might be a village in the background. We may definitely need to go explore that. So I'll come over here a little bit. Eh, that looks like a good place. Look, okay. I originally came from this side. So. Okay, quarry time. Now you can make these quarries bigger um, if you want to, but that's going to be what it's going to cut out right about like that. Uh, I could have probably moved over one more or two. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let's bring it over to. Bring it over right there. I mean, it's my shovel. You guys gotta go. Okay. Let's all get away. I need my. That's the one I'm currently using. Caught it? Okay. So I said, there. Yeah, that looks about right. <coughs> I think I can be happy with that. Mm 
Okay. Now to get this set up. Need my pipes, need my trash can. First thing I need to do is I need to come out with the stone. Come over with the stone. Go over with the diamond. Go over with the stone. One more stone. And trash can. Um Yeah. Oops. Anyone guess what I just did wrong? I didn't bring a chest. Without a chest, how do I collect my material? Ah. And the sun's already going down on me. Darn it. Way to go, Blue. That's a way to mess up right off the bat. Oh, anything, anytime you catch an egg like this, you can, I think there's some time you can bake with it, but you can also throw it, and I think it's like a 10% chance to get a chicken. You can throw the egg like that. Okay. I need both of you. Because I need to build a chest. And I don't want just a basic chest. I want a good chest. So I need some iron. Um, hopefully I got enough pieces of gold there. Um, dang it. Diamond. I thought I had glass. Glass, glass, glass. Glass. I do have glass to put in the wrong box. Okay. Wrap you in iron. Makes a, an iron chest. An iron chest is equivalent to two chests side by side. Then if we wrap it in gold. And if I'm right, it's diamond, diamond. And crystal. That makes a diamond chest. Now there is one more chest you make. You can make. I'll show it to you. That is called the crystal chest, a glass chest. If you actually put it down, um, like a chest box, it'll be a single chest, but you can see stuff twirling inside of it. It does load up the game. It does slow your game down. So if you want to run it, you can. I typically don't because the crystal chest is no larger. Um, in the diamond chest in inventory space. Why did I just do that? I just put all that. Now sort it. Put this back. Got my diamond. I don't need to carry this other extra stuff with me. Any piece of dirt. Uh, piece of Stone. The reason why I want these two pieces is because I'm putting them in my filter because I don't want no more co co cobblestone or dirt currently at this time. I think we're doing good on those. And it's dark. Mm. I'm going to pause the video guys here, wait for the sun to come back up, and then I'll be right back. See you in a bit. Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, as you can see the sun is starting to come up. And I'm actually on lookout right now because I just had a creeper in front of my door. So a little bit leery about Mr. Creeper being a little too close for comfort right this second. So I'm probably going to have to uh, open the door. And deal with that right there. First creeper explosion. Might as well get it over with. We know it's going to happen. Well. 
It's over. Creeper got his boom. Yeah. He kind of helped us make make a little stairway for our, our home now. Or our um, dwelling. We've been hiding in the hiding in. in. So. I guess we get to say thank you, Creeper. He actually kind of did us a favor, maybe. Oop, got a spider still out here. Yeah. Okay. Back to what we're originally after. Do, 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 do. Should be right here. There's our grid. Hello, cows. Mm. Cow, that's actually a bad spot for you. So we need to put a diamond chest right about there. So red's going to be input from Corey. Black's going to be our diamond chest. So as you can see, lots of room, but it can be overflowed. And blue is going to be the output. So if I right click on here, no cobblestone. Thank you. So all cobblestone will go down the blue path. Everything else right now will go down the red. I'll get a little bit of dirt here in a minute. So now all we should have to do is pop you down. Configurations. Turn you to orange. Oh boy. I thought you would take RF. You want MJ power. Hello everyone and welcome back again. I just found out what my mistake was. Put the diamond back. Double check this. Yeah, blue's going to cobblestone. Is the reason why my lead cell right here did not work is because I need to put it through a piece of conduit. As you can see, now we go, there we go, the quarry is outputting, I mean the energy cell is outputting, the quarry is sucking in the power, and it should be working. The very first thing to do is the frame had to be built, and anything that was in the frame's way, first thing the laser do does is burn and destroy it. This is a little bit of dirt and sand. I'm not worried about that. There'll be plenty of dirt and sand to come. You can see it's building the frame. As you can see, the laser's changing colors. I think it starts off blue, then green, then yellow, then red. And red's just max power. You know, once this thing gets to full power. Actually, we're starting to lose power. I just think that's because of the rate. Now, that is considered a diamond drill pick on the tip of that so it will drill through everything the reason why I do this above water is for one main fact one um, I don't end up leaving a big hole in the earth that you know if I step into it I'll fall to my death and I can't get out of it just ends up being a big deep hole water pool second reason is if I find if it finds lava is it'll immediately drop water on top of the lava, turn it obsidian, and up comes the obsidian, and I gain obsidian in my chest. As you can see right here, this pipe is see throughable. Um, you can see the contents going through it. That's one of the reasons why I do like the Billcraft pipe. It's kind of cheap to make. As you can see, it was just stone and glass. Um, that was the most expensive piece, the diamond sorting pipe. 
Um, as you can see, everything's going down in the chest except cobblestone that just goes straight out to the right. As you can see, we've almost got a full stack of dirt. Sand's coming in, that's because we're drilling the river bottom. Eh, I'll probably wait till we get at least a couple of stacks of dirt. Might as well empty some of this in here. And like I said, you know, this this is the default build of a quarry. Um, later, I will be making a bigger quarry. I'll actually use what's called markers. Um, when I build that, that way I can make the quarry as big as I want. I think the largest you can make is a 64 by 64 square. And then, of course, it will go down to earth. As you can see um, here where I'm standing, I am on level 63. You can see that in the parentheses underneath the minimap. Um, and it will go down till it hits bedrock, which, unfortunately, we're going to have to go recharge our energy cell and bring it back a couple of dozen times. Almost got two stacks of sand. Still got dirt coming in. No cobblestone. All cobblestone goes to the trash. Ooh, Enderman. Don't scare him too much. I think he'll come, he'll come on to play, and we don't want to play with him yet. Actually, I might. I think y'all want to play with an Enderman? I don't. It's going to be dark soon. Come on, hurry up, drain. How are we doing? There's two sacks of sand. Actually, going to have to need some glass. I'll take a stack or two of sand back with me. Got the frame. We'll play with Enderman another day. It's already dark, and it's definitely going to be dark by the time I get home. Now, one good thing about the quarry um, in the Tech It Packet is it is its own chunk loader. It loads every chunk that it needs, plus any around it, and oh my god, look at the creepers. Run. Skeleton. Hop, you missed. Zombie. Shut the door. We're inside. We're safe. Swap you down. Need to be input from the back. It's already taking power. You need to be turned back on. And we're recharging. At least as fast as it can be transferred. There is a way to speed it up. I just thought of it. I have one piece left. But you... Front is an output. Left is an input. And now, from that cell to this cell, we have two forms of paths. Each path through the leadstone energy conduit here can pass 80 RF a tick, and we have two of them, so it's passing 160. Should be a quick transfer here. Yeah, as you can see, it's steam on the bow. Yep, just warm up, get to full power. You're going to need it. And we need to get more wood. So that's just the basic, guys. Um, of getting the quarry going, um, I'm gonna have to, like I said, you know, carry the leadstone, carry the leadstone energy cell back and forth a few times to get the quarry down to start getting some good resources. Um, so I'll do that off camera. Um, that's really all I'm gonna be doing is going back and forth a couple of times. I'm probably gonna build most of this, if not just carry all this over there with me. 
I'll probably rip out all of this literally right up to this point back. Actually, I may just carry all of it over. So we can just bring back the finished ore. I think I'll do that. I'll go over there. I'll have to sunrise, build a, build a hut, build a little house there on the river. Um, pretty much transplant all of this over there. Um, and then I'll show you what the results are when we come back. Like I said, I'm going to do a lot of that off screen because it's going to take a lot of time to get that quarry down. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you'll enjoy the series. Hope you'll keep up with me. Please hit the share, the like, the subscribe button, guys. Um, I did go ahead and end my Sky Factory mod game. I may go back to it in the future. But literally, um, I, I, I needed a change. I needed a break from it. If I get comments for those of you who were liking it and do want me to continue it, please, you know, let me know. Um, and I may go back to it and do some more on it. But Skyblock kind of started to be tedious on me. Um, and the idea of tech it and maybe seeing the moon. I know that we're looking at marble, but the moon's up there. Maybe you want to see the moon? Think we can do that? That's kind of what Tech It's about. It's eventually trying to move, move to the moon. So, we'll see if we can get there. Like I said, don't forget to hit the like, the share, the subscribe buttons, guys. And I'll see you around next time. Bye for now.